Hey, Joey, what are you doing with all those blocks? Oh, well, you said we're going to be using blocks today, remember? Yeah, yeah, but I meant in a math, math question. Oh, well, I love blocks, yeah. I like to build walls and bridges and forts. And, you know, one time I even built a castle, but my dog sat on it, so it wasn't very much of a castle and stuff. Well, buddy, but here's the thing. We can actually use math blocks to solve interesting math questions, and so we can still use blocks. That sounds pretty cool. Let's check it out together. Okay. So here's the challenge for us. So a model for my number mm -hmm. has nine ones blocks, seven tens blocks, and four hundreds blocks. Oh. And the question is, what number am I? I don't know. Exactly, because there's lots and lots of stuff here. And so let's take a look. So one thing we can do is we could try to model it by saying, okay, we have four hundreds blocks. So I'm going to put in here these squares. These Those big guys. Exactly, these flats. And these each count for four hundred. Wow. And then I've got seven tens blocks. So yep. that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those got represent it. the seven tens. Yeah. And then I have uh, nine ones. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the important thing is that we write them in the right order. So we always write the hundreds on the far left and then uh -huh. followed by the tens and the ones. So in this case, what we see is, let's see. So how many hundreds do we have? We have four hundreds. Four right hundreds. Exactly. So there's a bit of four there. Okay. And then how many tens? We saw we have seven tens. That's right. So put them in right next to it. And then at the end, we have how many Nine. ones? Nine. Exactly. Nine. Exactly. And so all told, we can see that we're, our number that we're modeling is 479. And we could oh. think about that using this model. We can write it this way. Joey, check this out. Tell me if you like this or not. If you Let don't like see. it. So this is 400, right? so I'm going to write the 400, okay. and so I'm going to use a plus sign here to mean and I'm going to include, now, how many, how many tens do we have? We saw we, we have, have seven. seven, so that's the number 70, and then finally, how many ones? We have nine, nine. exactly, and when you add all these up, we see oh. 479, nine. so there's kind of a, a fancy <laughs> Um, addition sentence that corresponds to using the base 10 blocks, but the important thing is, even though we were given the nine ones first, and then the seven tens, and then the four hundreds, we have to write them in the right order. Hundreds, then tens, then ones, and then we have our number, 479. And I that's the answer. It. Wow, that's so great. Boy, that makes it a lot easier to solve a puzzle. But you know, I was really kind of looking forward to using these kinds of blocks. Well, we can use these kind of blocks to do all sorts of other fun math puzzles. So why don't we play with the blocks? Oh, that sounds great. Okay. Here we go. Now, you, you know, like one this? time I built stairs and uh, all the way up to the top of the refrigerator. Wow, that's amazing. Have fun with math. We'll see you soon. I'm really impressed.